Welcome in the name of Jesus, the Savior of the world. We are gathered to worship, to proclaim Christ crucified and risen, to give thanks for his life, to commend him to our merciful Redeemer, and to comfort one another in our grief. When we were baptized in Christ Jesus, we were baptized into his death. We were buried, therefore, with him by baptism into death, so that Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father. We, too, might live a new life. For if we have been united with him in a death like his, we shall certainly be united with him in a resurrection like his. Eternal God, maker of heaven and earth, who formed us from the dust of the earth, who by your breath gave us life, we glorify you. We glorify you. Jesus Christ, the resurrection and the life, who suffered death for all humanity, who rose from the grave to open the way to eternal life, we praise you. Holy Spirit, author and giver of life, the comforter of all who sorrow, our confidence and everlasting hope, we worship you. To you, O blessed Trinity, be glory and honor forever and ever. Amen. I can't believe that I'm here Having to say goodbye see you through these tears I
grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us pray. O God of grace and glory, we remember before you today our sister Peggy. We thank you for giving her to us to know and to love as a companion in our pilgrimage on earth. In your boundless compassion, console us who mourn. Give us faith to see that death has been swallowed up in the victory of our Lord Jesus Christ, so that we may live in confidence and hope until by your call we are gathered to our heavenly home in the company of all your saints, through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. The first reading is from 1 John 3, 1 through 3. See what love the Father has given us that we should be called children of God. And that is what we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we will be has not yet been revealed. What we do know is this. When he is revealed, we will be like him. For we will see him as he is, and all who have this hope in him purify themselves just as he is pure. Our psalm today is Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord my whole life long. Please rise. For the gospel acclamation. The Holy Gospel according to Saint Matthew. Glory to you, O Christ. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up to the mountain, and after he sat down, his disciples came to him, and he began to speak and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad. For your reward is great in heaven, 
for in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. The Gospel of our Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. You may be seated. Grace, mercy, and peace be yours from God our Creator and our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. From speaking with her family, I learned that Peggy was a very loyal person. She was loyal to her husband, Sonny, who she met in school and was married to the love of her life, as she said, for over 60 years until Sonny's passing. She was loyal to her pen pal from Japan, who she started writing to as a senior in high school and continued correspondences up until her last letter around Christmas time this year. She was loyal to her church, Trinity Lutheran Church, where she was a lifelong member here, being baptized, confirmed, and married within these walls. She was loyal to her children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren, and great-great-grandchildren. She was loyal to the community of Woolback, living here almost her entire life. She was a member of the Woolback Community Club, American Legion Auxiliary 236, Town and Country Club, and the Church Choir. She didn't just live in Woolback, she thrived and was a part of the fabric of this community. Loyalty is a characteristic not given enough credit these days. Loyalty is the act of giving full and constant support to a person or organization. And Peggy definitely did that. She was the cinnamon roll queen. <laughs> she also loved to play pinochle and to travel. She had a whole room in her house dedicated to Japan, which is where her pen pal was from. She loved their correspondences. She loved learning about her culture and everything she had to share with her about her life. In my last visit with Peggy, I was able to give her communion. We prayed the Lord's Prayer, and I sang Amazing Grace to her. To the very end, Peggy was a devoted Christian woman. She understood the value of living her life for Christ. She understood the importance of the body and blood of our Lord and Savior, and she accepted and took the elements for her. I was grateful to spend that time with her in sacramental worship. And what do we know about Christ? We know that God gave his only son to live for us, to die for us, to rise for us and to ascend for us. We are all made in the image of God, all of us. We all receive characteristics of God based off of the completely free gift of God's love. I believe Peggy received the gift of loyalty from God. We did nothing to earn God's love and we can do nothing to earn more or less of it. God sent God's son Jesus to live on this earth fully human and fully divine, to love others, offering mercy, justice, peace, healing, and love to those who encountered Jesus. Jesus lived a beautiful ministry and then suffered and was put to death on a cross. After Jesus died, he rose again three days later, all to justify us and save us from our sins. This is the free gift of God fulfilled through the life, death, and resurrection of Christ. And through the sacrament of baptism, we are all given new birth into a living hope. Through the word and the water, God delivers us from sin and death and raises us to new life in Jesus Christ. And through the sacrament of communion, we remember the body of Christ and the blood of Christ given for you. Why? because you are a beloved child of God, made in the image of God. Today, we remember the life and legacy of Peggy. We thank God for her many gifts, and we hold her family in our hearts as they grieve this loss. 
glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever, world without end. Amen. We will now continue with the hymn of the day in the red book in front of you or on the screen, ELW 779, Amazing Grace. as you are able and join me in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, in holy baptism, you have knit your chosen people together into one communion of saints in the body of Christ. Give to your whole church in heaven and on earth your light and your peace. God of mercy, hear our prayer. Grant that all who have been baptized into Christ's death and resurrection may die to sin and rise to share the new life in Christ. God of mercy, hear our prayer. Give courage and faith to all who mourn, and assure in certain hope in your loving care that casting all their sorrow on you, they may have strength for the days ahead. God of mercy, hear our prayer. Grant to us who are still in our pilgrimage and who walk as yet by faith, that where this world groans in grief and pain, our, your Holy Spirit may lead us to bear witness to your light and life. God of mercy, Help us in the midst of things we cannot understand. 
to believe and trust in the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, and the resurrection to life everlasting. God of mercy, God of all grace, we give you thanks because by his death, our Savior, Jesus Christ, destroyed the power of death, and by his resurrection, he opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. Make us certain that because he lives, we shall live also, and that neither death nor life nor things present nor things to come will be able to separate us from your love in Christ Jesus our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. If you could now please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Into your hands, O merciful Savior, we commend your servant Peggy. Acknowledge, we humbly beseech you, a sheep of your own fold, a lamb of your own flock, a sinner of your own redeeming. Receive her into the arms of your mercy, into the blessed rest of everlasting peace, and into the glorious company of all the saints in life. Amen. May the God of all creation in whose image we are made, who claims us and calls us beloved, who strengthens us for service, give you peace. The blessing of God, sovereign, savior, and spirit, be with you today and always. Amen. to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. I am going to go ahead and pray for the food as people are walking out. We are praying so that if you go to the community center instead of going to the cemetery, you are welcome to get started eating right away. Let us pray. The eyes of all wait upon you, O Lord, and you give them their food in due season. You open your hand and satisfy the desire of every living creature. Lord God, Heavenly Father, bless us in these your gifts which we receive from your bountiful goodness through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.
I could see 